एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Have you ever wondered why criminals are clicked for different profiles uh, when they are recorded by the police inspectors? If you don't know the reason, watch the video. I'll tell you the reason. Welcome to S Chand Academy, and I am Anmol Bhatia, and we'll be uh, covering the topic which is orthographic projection. The similar uh concepts the detailed concepts would be available in the book by s chand publishing if you don't have the copy of the book click the link below in the description box to download your copy let us start with the lecture on orthographic projections orthographic projections as the name suggest that something uh is perpendicularly acting on the object so as the name suggest projections projections is basically the image of the object that the, that we want to showcase uh, on the screen so orthographic projection indicates that the light is coming perpendicularly on the surface of the object we are covering this course module wise and so far we have covered module number 1 in three lectures if you haven't watched the previous videos you can go and watch them the number 2 module is orthographic projection and in this i'll be covering the concepts of orthographic projection the general convictions conventions uh, i'll be covering projection of points projection of lines and the concept of projection of planes here what happens in this situation as i have told you that the light would be coming perpendicularly on the surface and we would be getting different views of the object but what is the main agenda behind getting the views of the objects so let's make it more interactive and i expect some answers in the comment section let's uh, say that i have this object which is the ball and i want uh, the manufacturer to make this ball for me so i want the drawing of that ball to be handed over to the manufacturer so what kind of drawing would be uh, given to the manufacturer or the machinist or the worker who is making this kind of object let's say a metallic ball is being prepared so i expect some answers in the comment section uh, if your answer is a circle then you might be wrong then if you draw a circle and give it to the manufacturer the manufacturer would uh, create an object which would be in the shape of a coin he would not manufacture this ball and if your answer is i would artistically draw a ball uh, in a 3d environment and then i would hand over it to the manufacturer then you would be an artist you would not be an engineer then an engineer's technical language would be the language of drawing and the engineer would be uh, giving or handing over different sort of views of this ball to the manufacturer let's say i am a, a design engineer and i want to manufacture this so i would be handing over different views of this ball to the manufacturer so what would be the different views a circle would be there in the front view a circle again would be there as a top view and circle again would be there in the side view so three circles collectively would show that if i look at the object from the front i'll get the circle if i look at the object from the top i'll get the circle again if i look at the object from the side i'll get i'll get the circle again that clearly indicates that the object is sphere right so the language that engineers understand would be the language of drawing and there the manufacturer easily interpret that i want to manufacture this spherical object now coming to the answer to that question that why criminals are being clicked for different profiles uh, you might have noticed in the movies that uh, the criminals generally have a name plate and we generally click the criminals as the front view side view or the top view just in case if they uh, make any sort of a new uh, attire or if they take any sort of a new uh, personality so they would be easily identified by the police 
man so that answers to that question that i have asked you in the initial part of the video now coming to uh, the concept the orthographic projection situation consist of certain uh, parts which would be there in the question to you you would be given certain values like certain uh, informations like the object the general description of the object would be given to you just in case you have a sphere so the question would indicate that the object is sphere it would also indicate the position of the server where is the server currently and where is the location of the object means the object would be located in which quadrant maybe in first quadrant or in the second quadrant i'll come to this quadrant situation in my coming slides so here i wanted to say that you have an object well defined and you would have the objects uh, the observer who is watching that object and you have the location of the object clearly defined to you and now the general conventions that we would be following for the drawings if you want to indicate the top view i would be using a small letter if you want to indicate the front view i'll be using a small letter with a dash and if a side view is to be indicated i'll be using a small letter with the double dash this is for a point if i want to indicate a point which is an object that is to be indicated with a capital letter always as per the general notation if let's say it is a line so line has two points or the two coordinates so for that the top view is indicated without a dash front view is indicated with a dash which is a dash b dash and the side view is indicated as a double dash b double dash you would be using these things in order to indicate the uh, the views the different views namely front view top view or the side view of the object so we come to an end of the first part of the video the similar uh, concepts the detailed concepts would be available in the book by s chand publishing if you don't have the copy of the book click the link below in the description box to download your copy if you find the video interesting uh, like share subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates thank you very much All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.